thousands of years ago, one text emerged that would be the very thing that would lead young people to a life of depression, breakdowns, STDs, and financial ruin. The British University Holy Bible. Sent to the post by UCAS with a pack of pot noodle and a tampon. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, slags. Goodbye, one and only friend. Good morning, slaggerinos. Yes, um, uni is a thing. Welcome back to another video on my channel, also known as channel. This is going to be 24 hours. A day in the life, essentially, of a British university student on the edge of collapse. <sighs> yep. Normally, I just don't fuck with today because it's such a disgustingly busy day um, but I figured I would bring you guys along because I have a lecture, a library sesh, another lecture, a seminar, a film screening, then I have to get a train 130 miles home to Essex and then tomorrow I'm going to Heathrow Airport to pick up my boyfriend who lives in Los Angeles and God, I feel great like I could go another 20 years or more not only fucking that first deadline is tomorrow second deadline is next Friday and Lord, we're behind, we're behind, we're behind. Gotta do it, you gotta do it. If you get the clap, you get the clap. I don't wanna call myself Theresa May, but I do feel like I'm kinda of leaving this bit last minute. Um, <sighs> I don't even know why I'm tired, I haven't done anything. It's not all doom and gloom. I've got to look on the positive side. There's three weeks left of term, three weeks to crack out, as much reading as I can, as much essay prep shit as I can. And I'm actually ready for today. It's gonna to be a busy, busy, busy 24 hours, but give a gay boy some caffeine. Whoa, unstoppable. I want to die. And what do you know, just my bloody luck. As soon as I stepped out of the door, it was a torrential rainstorm. Morning. Literally a wet rat. Then it was time to crack on with the first lecture of the day. This is of the children's film and TV module of my course, and I was thoroughly interested. In the late 50s and 60s, the became a key contributor. Now, despite what it may look like, I actually was thoroughly interested in this lecture. It was on the history of children's film and television, specifically the structural changes to children's TV in Britain between 1990 and 2000. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Clearly, Megan took a lot from that lecture, but it was time for me to head to the library to get some reading done. Okay, you guys, so quick library search before the next lecture, slash seminar, whatever the fuck it is. Well, let's read this shit. So essentially, the first piece of reading I did during that library search was just a follow-up from the lecture, and it was very interesting. All about kids' film and TV, you know, the, how the key structural changes of the 1990s and the early 2000s really made children's entertainment more commodified, and how it was far more focused on merchandise than product. Right. My gay ass looked up and saw the librarian. <laughs> then I just watched over my script filmed pitch, which is part of my script module where we have to submit ourselves reading out our film pitch. So this was a follow-up to the children's lecture. This was a children's film and TV seminar. And this was so, so useful because we went over essay questions for the essay I'm working on now. And yeah, loved it. Bye. So then my next lecture of the day was my representing difference lecture. In this module, we talk about how media has represented race, sexuality, and gender all throughout history. But this particular lecture was more of a seminar where we went over essay questions. So I picked my question and in my spare time, I reapplied for my student finance next year, shat myself. And when it comes to the prospect of repayment, I'm just like, I don't see it happening though. I just don't see it happening. <laughs> I 
Hello, hello. I love how when we set off this morning it was pure rain and now it's like stunning. <laughs> I like sitting on my own, like, yeah, thank you very much. Away yeah, get away. Thank you. The best part about this film screening on a Tuesday is that the lecturer brings us free food. Brownies. Brownies, the ones we typically eat. Like five. In the region of five. I'm in here, Megan and I were watching this girl literally have a seizure about signing the bloody register. There are too many loons. <laughs> After the film screening, we were southbound. Let's ride. Let's ride. Oh my god. Look how fucking windy it is. Let's ride. Oh my god. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> Get me down south immediately. Oh my god, my hair. <laughs> You guys, I made it home. Literally all I have left to do on this essay is just the conclusion, which is fab. I do think I have to chop about 100, maybe 200 words down, which always grates me, but I am fully prepared to do that tonight. And then it's T minus a couple of hours. Nate is just already about to leave for the airport. I am extremely excited and sexually aroused already. These are tough times, there's no denying. Wave has been shit. Theresa May is speaking like Gollum. <laughs> Mate, she sounds like death. Then it was time to study, but aesthetically. Ah! Jesus! Our last slide, so this is the essay for the women's module of my course. This is the core module, so it's quite important. I chose the question on lesbianism because, you know, <laughs> I'm gay. Not a lesbian myself, though, because that would involve foof. Um, now, this may sound extremely obvious here, but one of my best piece of advice when writing an essay is to constantly read back pretty much each sentence to yourself, because whilst it can make sense in your head, sometimes when you actually read it out loud, you're like, what the f was I thinking? To conclude, the extent to which popular Hollywood films acknowledge lesbian identity and desire is subjective. Now this got me thinking, something I've really picked up on in second year at uni is sometimes it's best to conclude your argument that something is subjective. You know, to what extent, how far, it's just pretty much subjective, sis. <sighs> Holy shit, I think I'm done. I'm back to submit this shit. Hey, Jesus, that essay caught me, but I came back, bitch. I zombified that shit. Oh, it feels good to be done. All right, it's flag. So, a little bit of an update. I'm looking at my sky scanner, and Nathan is currently in the air. He gets hit in a few hours' time. Also, what adds another level of excitement or, you know, dimension to Nathan arriving this time is that I have organized, like, the bitch did shit this time. I actually organized a surprise for Nathan. He has no idea what it is, and I am extremely, this is like the biggest thing I've ever done. I'm extremely excited. It's very romantic. It did break the bank, but to be fair, there was nothing to break to begin with. If anything, you know, it just further dented the overdraft. I've been teasing Nathan, he thinks he knows what it is, but he has absolutely no idea. And I'm so excited for you guys to know what I got him as well. So make sure you keep watching until the end of the video. I want to film his reaction, but I'm not going to be too like <coughs> with the camera tomorrow because I know what the feeling is like when you step off a long haul flight, you literally just want to die. Fully prepared, I feel like I'm waiting for Santa's sack. I'm wide already. Let's go. Now my gay ass will venture to Starbucks. <laughs> And then he throw. Let's ride. Let's <laughs> ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Oh, fuck a hill start. <laughs> Guys, keep it moving at a steady pace. <laughs> makes me feel sick. <laughs> Just like Thanos snapping his fingers, it cost me underwear, but I did it. Pull up to the party, I got everybody lit.
Okay, you guys, I finally made it to the airport. I almost died a million and five times on the way here, but I made it, I'm here queer, and I'm ready to pick up my other queer. Um, hope you like the flowers, and yeah, I feel like a little kid the night before Christmas. Like, I am so, so excited. So I'm really pissed because the wind just destroyed my bouquet. Oh, this giant spot. This is a beautiful giant spot. Hmm, you got your good angle? <laughs> Every angle's a good angle, Bubba. Ew! What is up, you guys? So, I picked up the beautiful Nathaniel at the airport. I didn't want to film straight away because obviously he's just got off a long haul flight. I have his surprise in this envelope. I'm going to capture Nathan's reaction right now. I'm not good at this. Oh my god, this is stressing me out. <laughs> How do we spawn? <gasps> I don't know what I do. Oh my god, it's pop up. Pop. What is it? No clue. For you. Are we going? Are we going to Paris? We're going to Paris. We're going to, Paris. We're going to oh. uh, we're going to Paris on a day trip, a luxury trip to Paris. <gasps> I have arranged for us. We are gonna have dinner in the Eiffel Tower <gasps> with champagne. Oh, and yeah. Thank champagne. you. I'm sorry, I was so confused. I was like, it's the Eiffel Tower. I was like, bitch, that pop-up card was half of the money I I'm spent. like, what, what does this mean? <laughs> for you, like, for you? Oh, there's something inside of it? Ah, the oh, Eiffel the... Tower does give it away. Oh, no, but I saw the Eiffel Tower, but I was trying to put it together because I didn't actually think you were bringing me to Paris. <laughs> I am my own sugar daddy. I mean, I think let's dispel the rumors right now. God bloody wait to whip out my French juice. I'll see you later. Hola. No, I'm not even missing uni for it. So, you know, no more bereavements, you know, when I'm in the Bahamas. Weirdly, when I think about it, I started these 24 hours very much so on the edge and on the verge of a breakdown. Everything's just getting a bit much in terms of deadlines, in terms of stress, in terms of just like workload at uni. But I leave these 24 hours feeling inspired, motivated, and in love. <laughs> Sick. Hey Nay, what's French for cock? Thank you guys so so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and share this video. Make sure you're following me on all of my social media. The links will be in the description bar below. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you sexy people at some point next week. Thank you and goodbye.